Hey guys, welcome back to Mama Dubay. I'm Shelby and I make videos all about motherhood. And in today's video, I am going to share um, basically some nesting with you in the baby's room. We're gonna get this room organized and get as much done as we can. We have this week before, we have one week before the baby shower. So that's what I have to get done as soon as possible. You actually break it. If you're new here, I am a stay-at-home mom. I have a two-year-old little boy and I am 28 weeks pregnant with a little girl, obviously. See the pink? Um, and yeah, I am the kind of mom who takes in a lot of secondhand things. I'm not um, against using baby stuff that's already been used. So I have a lot of things that were given to me. I have a lot of things that were also from when Lucas was a baby. And I just need to make some sense of everything in here because the baby shower is a week away and I know I'm gonna get a lot of other things. So I wanna have places for all of that to go. If you enjoy content like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I put out videos like this all the time of me organizing and just doing things that stay at home moms need to do. So if that's your style, then this is the right place for you. I just wanted to pop in and do a quick little update on the baby's room. So we have recently brought in a new bed. It's actually part of a bunk bed that my sister-in-law and brother passed to us. So I thought a twin bed might fit in this room a little bit better than the queen size bed. So the queen size bed is now in Lucas's room. He's loving that. Nap time has gotten a lot better since we've done that. And something else that I did is I, I got a liner for the dresser drawers. So this was actually on clearance at Walmart, but I need to actually stick it in the rest of the drawers. These are just kind of in here. So I need to do that so that I can get clothes put away. I am now 27 weeks pregnant, so I am at the end of my second trimester, which is absolutely crazy to think about. I don't know how we got here so fast, and I really wanted to have so much more done than I have done, <sighs> but it is, it is what it is. So I am going to, with you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get some of this lining um, stuck to it. And here is that bed. Of course, there's stuff all over it. But it's really nice to have a bed that's off the floor, even though it's just a twin, because then you can store extra clothes underneath and things like that. So I am someone who takes hand-me-downs. I take any hand-me-downs that I can get and I just sort through them and decide what is my style and what I want to keep for my babies. So I feel like I'm breathing really hard and I'm so sorry if you can tell, but I will keep the clothes all the way up to like two or three T underneath the bed. And that way, as she grows out of something, I already have more to go from. So I just have so much to go through. <laughs> it's so hard to do it with my toddler around. So hoping that my family can help out a little bit more in the next trimester with him so I can really get some stuff done. Everybody's busy, so we'll see what we can ha make happen. But So I'm gonna work on this, these drawers really quick, and then that way I can move on to the next part.
So now I can at least put things like blankets that she will probably use, crib sheets and twin bed sheets and things like that. And I think I might put them in these drawers. I might put them under the bed. We'll see. But at least I can start putting some things away. This whole, this big bag over here um, has a bunch of clothes in it that need to be washed but those are like six months and above and then below i think is um this box is um like 18 plus months and then this is a bag of clothes this clear bag that i'm keeping in case i can convince my husband of a third baby and then the box underneath are baby boy things that I am sending off to a friend of a friend. And then all of that stuff in that crib needs to be gone through. I need to decide how I'm going to decorate the walls in here. And that bin right there on the bed is like diapers and um, I'm sorry, it's not diapers. It is pump parts and stuff like that. Progress made a little bit today. <laughs> Say, my patient, what'd you do outside? all stuff from Mary as well. Lucas calls her Aunt Mary and it's she has passed on all of her baby stuff and she has seriously some of the best stuff. <laughs> so thank you Mary because you do watch my channel. Got more of these and these are everything you need. These are just little pads for your changing table. Um, I prefer these over the ones that go over the changing pad. Also, we keep them downstairs in the like little bin that we have for Lucas's diaper changes. He's still not potty trained. Oh, that's something we're working on. But anyway, um, but they're super easy to put in the car, um, like in a diaper bag, and just roll it out when you need to change a diaper. Funny, I'm one of those moms that does not like bibs on their kids. I'd rather change their shirt than put bibs on um, when they're like really drooly. But if I ever do use a bib, this is the kind. It's um, like a muslin fabric, so it's super comfortable. It feels like their shirt. And then a button, because the Velcro never stays on. So I will be keeping these. Watch. So I waited until the clothes were dry so that I could really work on all of what I had. Um, and what I decided is that I am going to use, by the way, I always keep these bags that like blankets come in and stuff for clothes storage because they seem to keep your clothes protected when you put them in storage and um, they can fit a lot of baby clothes in them. So anyway, I am going to put any clothes above six months into these and store them in these let's see under the bed containers but I also have like a few tutti things 
and some shoes and boots and things like that. I'm gonna wash those again by the time we get to 2T, so those aren't in the storage bags for now. Um, so I'm gonna see how much I can put in here. And then my goal is we're going to reassess how many items I have in newborn zero to three, three months, and three to six months. And then decide how much I'm going to keep and then just pick my favorites out of all of that because there are a lot of clothes. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. I'll probably put it on a time lapse. I'll probably speed it up from here so that we're not watching it in real time because it'll take me a while. Okay, so now I'm gonna lay out all of my newborn stuff. And Lucas was a 10 pound baby, so newborn stuff was kind of obsolete for him. And I had a ton of it. Maybe he wore a few pieces for like the first week, but anyway, this baby could be different. This baby could be newborn size. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna be very selective in what I keep, but um, I still want to see what I have because I want to keep what I like the best. So I've gotten a few more things in the mail and things that I ordered. Um, one of those things is a white boppy cover. I have this boppy cover. I actually have two of these and they're really cute, but I think I just want white. So my sister-in-law also gave me her old boppy in here. And I might keep that one and then just use a white cover on the other one for my backup boppy for like the different floors. Um, I also got a cute little pink bassinet sheet. And then I ordered myself the LV Curve. So this is kind of like the Haka but I really wanted to try it out. And ultimately I might end up with two, but I think it was like 40 bucks for this. So I didn't want to buy two if I didn't like it. Picked up some baby lotion. 
and some cotton swabs. And then I also got a couple more things in the mail um, as baby gifts from my registry. It was this little humidifier and one of these sound machines. <clears throat> some more things I picked up. I got some passies and honestly, I think when they're newborn, this is the style passy, at least for Lucas. This is what he liked the best. We'll see if she takes this. Um, I picked up some nasal aspirators and some gripe water because that's always great for a newborn. I've been organizing a little bit more in here. I'm gonna be try to be on top of it a little bit more so that you can kind of see what I'm doing because I am in nesting mode <laughs> when I have bursts of energy to do it anyway, so. <laughs> Hey guys, so happy belated Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day. And my husband, my present today, he got me some flowers and a card from him and Lucas. But my present today was to get to kind of just do whatever I wanted to. So I went out this morning to, my goal was to go find all of the things we still needed for the baby. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned, but I got a little bit of money and some gift cards to Target um, at my shower. And I thought I would try to use that money to get some of the things that we still needed. And while I was out, I realized that because I have a registry on Amazon and Target, I don't know about Target, but I know that Amazon does a completion discount. So 60 days before your due date, they allow you to get anything that hasn't been purchased off your registry at a discount. And since I'm a Prime member, I get 15% off. So I decided to wait on a few more expensive things. So today what I was looking for was I needed nursing bras or a nursing bra, a diaper caddy. I need a diaper bag. Um, and then I wanted to get some sheets from Target. So I know everyone has their preference on sheets. I did get some sheets for my sister-in-law and they're super silky and soft, but the problem I'm having with them is that they're moving around a little too much on the bed. And our sheets from Target have really deep pockets. They like go all the way around the corner. So I wanted to get those for this bed. And I found some at Target. I'll show you everything I got today. First, I went to a store that we have nearby called Bargain Hunt, <clears throat> just to see what they had. I was looking there for a monitor. We got the monitor we use for Lucas right now there. But these are the things I got from there. I got um, this lotion. I actually got two of them. And these are usually like eight to $10 at Target. So $4 was a steal. I got two of them. Um, I also got a thermometer for a baby girl. I don't really want to get them mixed up. And then because nesting is happening and I want to clean everything, I picked up some gloves so I wouldn't be touching a lot of chemicals while I'm doing that. Honestly, I never use gloves to clean with. It's just, I think it's just an extra step and then I feel like the gloves are disgusting so I'm like, it's an OCD thing. Anyway, I just would rather wash my hands, but I'm trying to be responsible. I got some gloves. They were super cheap, $1.50. So that's everything that I got from Bargain Hunt. And then I went to TJ Maxx and I went there hoping maybe I would find a bag that I liked um, to be used as a diaper bag. And I was also looking at their baskets and stuff to see if I could find like a diaper caddy type thing. The only thing I found was what I'm gonna use as a diaper caddy in here. It was only $12.99, and I think there's plenty of space in here for plenty of diapers and some creams and stuff to go on the dresser next to the changing pad. And then I went to Target Next to use my gift cards, and I picked up these sheets. And then a, I got a nursing bra. So I needed a new nursing bra that I could wear in the hospital. I just kind of like treat yourself type thing. 
So um, this with like a tank top and some shorts, I'll at least be covered up and able to nurse as needed. So anyway, this is that Auden brand. And I tried it on. I actually am very excited about this. So those are the purchases I made today and I'm feeling like this room is really starting to come together. So you saw a lot of purchases and things that we received recently for the room in this video. I'm going to link a lot of those things down below so you can click on them. I am an Amazon affiliate. I don't know if I'm going to continue to be one because I haven't met my purchases to stay an affiliate, but you know, I'm still a really small YouTuber and that is what it is. So I'll try again in the future if not, but I'm going to link them all below. So if there's something that you saw in today's video that you're interested in, the link is there easy for you to purchase. And I do make a small commission off of Amazon if you purchase through my links. So yeah, um, it's Mother's Day and for the rest of the day until we go to dinner tonight. Um, I am going to work on the baby's room, do a little bit more organizing, get more things put away, and yeah, I can't wait to get it done and show you the final result. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please like today's video, and if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. I post all kinds of content about motherhood, currently lots of pregnancy stuff, so yeah, I'm nearing the end of this pregnancy, so make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one.